Hey guys, got a minute? So uh, in Malachi 3 verse 3, it talks about, how, it's a prophecy about the Jesus. And he talks about how he's going to come as a refiner and a purifier of silver. And so whenever we think about this refining and purifying of silver, you got to think about what that process is. And so that process is a... Um, where basically you take raw silver um, and so this silver has got a lot of things wrong with it that's why it needs to be refined and purified and so they take it and they stick it into the fire and so um, it goes right into the very center of the fire where the flame is the hottest and it sits there and the person that's purifying the fire has to stand there in you know like with right right next to the flames and has to watch this silver and has to pay close attention to it as all of this stuff this things that are, don't belong in silver as it starts to f kind of float out to the surface and you know fall off and so the the job is actually very important that it will start to become pure and so the the way that you uh you know kind of see this is a lot of times we get put into a fire Right? And we get put into a place where we're uncomfortable, where things are not easy, right? And then, you know, like we're we're stuck in that spot and you all of a sudden see things start to float up to the surface. I mean, I'm, I work with kids all day. There are times whenever, you know, like they, they'll push every single button that you have and then all of a sudden there's something that bubbles up inside of you. And you're like, and you notice it and you're like, oh man. You know, that's not supposed to be there. I didn't know that was there. <laughs> and, you know, like, as you start to deal with that, because all of a sudden you're like, hey, no, I, that's not supposed to be there. I'm, I can't I can't have that. And a lot of times that bubbles up, and then you get to either deal with it or try to push it back down. And in the same way, in the, you know, like a purifier of silver wants those things to bubble up and out and get out of the silver so that you have a more, more pure silver. And if you ask any kind of... Um, a silver smith um if you talk to them about what is what how do you know whenever it's done can you overcook silver and you can it actually hurts the silver if you cook it for too long if you have it heated too long and you ask any of them well, how do you know when it's done when it's ready when it's pure and it's whenever you can see your reflection in the silver whenever you can see yourself your own image in the silver and if you think about jesus whenever Jesus sees himself in us then he knows that we can he can pull us out of those flames and so I just want to encourage you Jesus sees you he's got to stand there he's watching you in your trial and as that silversmith he's waiting and he's looking for you he's looking for you not and he's not letting he doesn't want you to push those things down he doesn't want you to push them down further he wants them to come out and to leave and then he can see himself in you he's gonna pull you out of those flames he's gonna he's gonna take you out of it because all of a sudden you are more like him he can see himself in you thanks for taking a minute guys hopefully this week as you go through your hard things that the things will float up to the surface and you can release them and let them go and that jesus can be found in you thanks for taking a minute